In this video we provide a visual demonstration of the dangers of lithium button batteries. Button battery ingestions most commonly occur in children under 6 years of age. The greatest danger is if the button battery becomes wedged in the esophagus and remains there for prolonged periods of time. Some consider the 20mm 3V 2032 lithium button battery to be most dangerous due to its diameter and risk of getting stuck in the esophagus. Greater than 90% of disc battery ingestion cases resulting in fatalities or major outcomes over the last 15 years were from 20mm 3V lithium cells, of which more than 70% were 3V CR2032 button batteries. At this diameter and voltage, they are large enough to get lodged in a child's esophagus and powerful enough to cause major sequelae or death. Button batteries are corrosive and appear to cause an isothermic hydrolysis reaction resulting in an alkaline caustic injury. Alkaline caustic solutions cause liquefactive tissue necrosis, where tissue essentially dissolves away rapidly. At the junction of the button battery anode and cathode, water is hydrolyzed into hydroxide ions and hydrogen gas, creating this button battery-powered alkaline caustic injury. Serious damage can occur in as little as two hours after esophageal impaction due to the mechanism and speed of injury development. Once the circuit closes and the button battery contacts the electrolyte-rich esophageal water in the mucosa, the hydrolysis process begins immediately. If unwitnessed, children may initially be asymptomatic or have nonspecific symptoms making it difficult to make a diagnosis. Emergency healthcare providers can be fooled because on x-ray the battery may look like a coin. Be sure to ask your doctor if there is a halo sign on anterior-posterior films and a step-off on lateral x-rays. Poison control may advise you to give honey by mouth prior to coming to the emergency department. Honey acts by neutralizing the tissue pH, which helps to reduce the severity of tissue damage by the button battery. However, honey contains water, sugar, and other organic compounds, which may contribute to a chemical reaction when in contact with the lithium battery. Consequently, honey should be given more than once and typically is recommended every 10 minutes. We created a hot dog model to represent an esophagus with button batteries wedged between the anterior and posterior walls. Using a scalpel, we made 2 cm incisions and made slit pockets to hold the batteries. The pockets were dilated gently with the handle of the scalpel. We placed the button batteries into the pockets of the hot dog. We started the clock and we watched the hot dogs and button batteries for the next three hours. So it's interesting. This has just um, been a matter of minutes. And um, you can actually, if you get up close, you can actually hear some fizzing, fizzling or some crackling going on. Let's see, let's go right about here and go right about here. After three hours, as we cut open the hot dog model of the esophagus, we find impressive amounts of liquefaction necrosis caused by the electrochemical reaction of the lithium button batteries. The destructive damage to the hot dog is not unlike what happens to a child's esophagus. The obvious imprints of the battery and charred appearing material are testimony to the potentially destructive nature of 3-volt lithium button batteries.